The WC601 is the ultimate flexible tubing cutter. The unit easily and accurately cuts tubing to program lengths and number of pieces. The belt feed and rotary cutter ensure that material is not crushed, either along the material length or on its cut ends. The standard steel cutting blade is for soft and flexible tubing, although some types of rigid tubing and wire may be cut. Optional carbide and ceramic replacement blades are available. A set of bushings contains three distinct pieces, the entrance bushing, the head bushing, and the exit bushing. The entrance and exit bushings are the same size, and the head bushing is longer than the two. Begin bushing installation with the larger head bushing. Install it into the cutter head, chamfer end first, by sliding it through the exit bushing mount. Slide the bushing so the flat end of the bushing is past the blade. Now bring the blade into position manually and slide the bushing as close to the blades as possible without creating any interference between the blade and the bushing. Tighten the bushing with the set screw. Ensure clearance between the blade and the bushing after tightening by again manually activating the blade. Insert the exit bushing with the chamfer facing away from the unit. Manually activate the blade and bring the exit bushing as close to the blade as possible without touching it. Tighten the exit bushing and again manually activate the blade to ensure the blade motion is not affected by placement of the exit bushing. Reposition the bushing if necessary. The less distance between the head and exit bushings, the better the support and therefore the cut quality is improved. This will allow the shortest possible pieces to be cut. Install the entrance bushing with the chamfer side facing away from the belt feed. Ensure that once tightened, the bushing does not interfere with the belt feeds in their closed position. To replace the blade, remove one of the screws holding the blade in place and loosen the other one. Slide the blade out from under the screw and washer. Replace the blade and screw and retighten both screws. If this is the first time the blade has been dulled, it may be used again by turning the blade around and using the other side. The cutting edge of the blade is offset, so the blade may be used twice. To adjust the blade depth, locate the blade depth stop screw on the rotary head and loosen the locking set screw, which locks the blade depth stop screw in place. To adjust the blade deeper, turn the screw counterclockwise. To raise the blade, turn the screw clockwise. Do not allow the blade to go past center of the bushing. Blade depth is properly set when the blade is slightly deeper than the inside wall of the tubing being cut. After adjusting the blade depth, tighten the locking screw to keep the blade depth stop screw from moving. Feed the tubing through the entrance bushing, between the belts into the head bushing, and through the exit bushing. To tighten the upper and lower belts, simply turn the belt adjusting knob clockwise. The belt should be adjusted by tightening them until the material will not slip when pulled between the belts. More belt pressure may be added if the cut lengths are inconsistent. Close the cover. Once the unit is turned on, the controller will report initialization and begin its display. The line being edited will display a blinking cursor. Press Enter to start the programming. Select inch or millimeter. Press Enter. Then follow programming procedures on the display for the batch, length, and quantity for your requirements and press Run to start the machine. The system will display the parameters of the batch as it is processed 
and count down as the pieces are cut. When the run is complete, the message Run Complete will appear on the bottom line.